Hello, welcome back, Plasma here, and today we have a giraffe sticking our tongue at us. No. Today is going to be a tutorial video about how to um, create a custom channel icon. <clears throat> so first things first, open up your web browser and go to this place, hexraystudios.com slash hexels. Um, so basically what this is, is that Hexels is a software that we're going to be using. Um, so you can either buy Hexels Pro, which is 20 bucks, or download the free version of Hexels. Um, so just go ahead and download the free version for now. You can upgrade later. Um, so now we're going to go back to our desktop, open up Hexels, and immediately you will see... A, um, yeah, this. So this gives you like tips. Um, so first things, um, so here we have color modes. This shows your glow amount and stuff. This is your document and this is your texture. So we're just gonna go ahead and do Trixel. Yours may or may not look like mine. Um, you can do rotate 90, but I usually only do that for isometric art. Um, so we're not going to go ahead and do that. So, so, um, click on the line tool. Now, select your favorite color. I'm going to select light blue. It isn't my favorite color, but I like it. You might want to zoom in with this baby right here. And then, um, get back to your line tool. Now just draw a bunch of lines. And as you will notice, like right here in this area, there is um, a lighter shade of blue. That's because when um, when any two colors overlap in this program, they will create a lighter shade of that color. If they're different programs, if they're different colors, then they'll blend together. So yeah, just put a bunch of that. It looks all icy frozen cavern sort of thing um okay now choose your second favorite color I'm gonna go ahead and go for green um so now overlap and as you can see they're kind of blending kind of okay um so keep on doing this until um you like how it looks really um, oh, and when you start getting, like, too much light, you can go to the glow settings and lower the glow amount. Yeah, there. Um, so, yeah, let me do one more color. Um, too dark. There, that's better. Um, so if we do this, and then do that, doobity doop. -doo. Do do do, and do do do. Okay, now we have a cool looking frost cavern thing. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna save it. Um, I'm gonna call mine icy triangles because that's what it looks like. Um, and you're gonna save. Now that you've saved, you can export it. Um, to where you want. Um, I'm gonna go to desktop. My place pixel art and hexels so save it wherever you want really i usually name mine um the same as what i exported it was i what i saved it as so um yeah now here we have a little preview of it so um youtube recommends having an 800 by 800 um cha channel profile so you can actually zoom in using the resolution and once it equals about 800 a little more a little more a little less a little more there okay so now once it equals about 800 like like that um you're going to go ahead and click okay so that exports and now the second website you're going to open up your um web browser again and then you're going to go to this website, defont.com. So you're going to choose 
any type of font you really like. I like this, so go ahead and download it, install it. Um, so once you've got that installed, you're going to go ahead and open up Paint. Um, I don't know the Mac equivalent of this, but open up Paint. So now you're going to open up the file that we saved it as. Um, I see triangles, remember? Okay, things are coming back. Now, we're going to add the text. Um, so, I already have selected Prism. And see, when you um, installed your font, it actually saves it to your system. So now, like, you have Arial and all that stuff. And it also adds one, the one that you downloaded. Um, so I downloaded Prism, so that's going to be Prism. And then I'm just going to do Plasma and then increase this a lot and then put in some random number like 114. Oh, never mind. 114. One, there. Now, we ha now we're going to center it. And make sure that you have good contrast with the background because as you can see in this little area of the P um the hole the P hole that sounds weird the P hole um it's it's getting contrasted by that so another way to fix this would be like lifting the thing up or down but I'm gonna do um a different color really how about let's see red Oh, that's way too bad. Um, brown? Nope. Um, yeah, let's stick with orange. Um, so now we have orange. Um, yeah. So this is my new. This is gonna be how I made channel art. Not channel art. Um, a channel icon, really. So, this is how I made it. I hope you enjoyed. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something new. Um, this will probably help you later on in the future when you decide to start your own YouTube, like me. And um, leave a like, subscribe, comment, do all that stuff. Goodbye.